Shalom, everyone. I hope that you are doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for a general reading. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're not and you're new, my name is Shannon, and I'm so glad to have you today. My channel is, um, my, it's a little different than probably what you're going to run across. Um, I do a lot of uh, uprooting negative type of energy I focus on finding it and then uh, speaking from that place of fixing it and uh, encourage people to just look in the mirror because we got to every single day and so <clears throat> I'm just a very spiritual channel I love Jehovah Elohim the maker of heaven and earth people call him the universe but I call him by a scriptural name the scripture is in the tarot so you will get it on this channel but I don't have any kind of like um, you know, religious types of mindsets and just putting um, the spirit in a box. The, the spirit is expressive and the spirit is free and it's, it's liberty. Uh, the spirit of truth is what I seek and uh, it is time to seek the Father in heaven in the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And his word comes um, and is the truth and it comes to us and uh, it is to be weighed out when we are uh, in the situation and you know I, I just I'm just a different type of a channel okay I'm just you'll just learn me as we go and I'm glad to have you um, but I'm not ashamed of my father in heaven he is everything to me I breathe today because of him and I'm real personable um, with my audience and things like that. And so you'll just, you know, if you stay, you'll learn me. And I'm glad to have you, like I said. If you got to go away, then thanks for checking me out. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And if it's anniversary, happy anniversary. And if you're down and out, I send you love and light. Let's get started here. If you are new, I feel energy, and I'm really having a really big energy flow this morning. And I don't know when it is you're catching this video, but it's morning time. I am having a cup of coffee with you. And so, you know, um, my brain's also trying to kick in because, well, I'm, I'm now talking and I haven't talked this morning. So um, you'll understand, but I am having an energy flow in a very big way this morning. And so sometimes when I'm feeling the energy that way, I might come across a certain way to you. And um, I'm just trying to navigate through that energy and speak to you and stuff like that. We have the release card coming out here. This is the death card. This is a transformation of some type of a situation that's coming to an end from the heavens. This is a spiritual transformation card when it does come out. It, it's very intense energy for us to get today. We did see death energies uh, for the next couple of days in the element sign readings, which are down below if you did miss them, by the way, if you are new. Um, they're in the description box. And uh, this has been secretive for some people uh, with this energy that's been a transformation or that, or that is uh, going to be trans. Uh, forming something today for some people we have the seven of pentacles uh, this card says seeds well planted and there's just a temporary pause here in action and there's uh, an unnecessary worry here something's ending this is at the end of a, of a situation is here there's there's a release here somebody been waiting and waiting and waiting for a release and Jehovah stated that it's necessary for this change to occur. You and I can't change it. When Jehovah says that's it, the cycle's over, that's it. Whatever the seeds were planted, you're waiting for that transformation, uh, it, it's here. There's just a temporary pause. That pause can be, you know, by the end of the day, something could take place. In the next hour, Just it's just like a little pause here. But something's fixing to release for us here, and that's positive. Jehovah tells us that death is his last enemy. And so, you know, whatever the, the situation is, something's ending within that energy. Uh, yeah, we have a, we have a um, victory here over insecurity. I'm going to read it that way. Uh, there's been collaboration around 
some situations. Somebody got some victory. There's, there's a bloody war that's gone down here with this stuff in a very big way. Let me move that out of the frame here. Maybe that's... Nope, that ain't going to work. Um, there's a wounded warrior here within this war. The Nine of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. The Five of uh, Pentacles is an insecurity card. It can also be a forgiveness card as well. This is, you know, feeling left out in the cold. Some people having, you know, financial situations. That can be a card of poor in spirit. This has been secret money around some stuff. And you're always showing that that's going to be released. Something's being released from that. Something going to be public. This is a sea of people. This is a public card as well. What's the death card here for you, Hova? What do you want to say about it? Thank you. The tower. Well, this is big time known stuff then. Um, this come down from the heavens, no doubt. And this also, if that's sexual matters, then it's known about. Because that's sexual stuff with the 8th house and this card can go back. This is something just completely so intense. Just a paradigm shift to something here. Show me the 7 of, uh, show me the 7 of pentacles. You'll hold up. Look, this says, this is temporary, but when it hits, it's going to hit with such an intensity straight from the heavens something is just like that's it and then there's a victory here some people are going to be sitting here if you're in the negative of some stuff and you won't release uh in your stiff neck because you'll have to bring some energies out in some readings that i did yesterday that somebody who's just often reproved over and over they ain't going to have a remedy and they're going to be sitting here um insecure because there's a battle. Somebody's winning, somebody's losing something here. And Jehovah says he is taking out the wicked every day. So some, something is uh, known or will be known in a very intense way about this release and it's necessary for it to happen. Jehovah, show me the seven of pentacles here. I thank you, Father, for... Um, completely breaking people free from some stuff. This is also the truth setting somebody free within the tower. We have the nine of swords. That's been cruelty. Something has been really cruel because there's been pride and ego here. We have the queen of pentacles. She came out around that death. Uh, I think she came out the death was around her on the 8th. Okay. If you, you know, something around a mother death that you've already been also going through. Somebody's dealing with, you know, somebody of interest as well. That's Somebody's had cruelty around that energy and it's been waiting and waiting and waiting to work on something. That's eight pentacles as well. Something's going to release here because, you know, some somebody's just in their mind here all the time. So we have the nine of pentacles. Yeah. Um, there's inheritances here as well. This has also been a segregation. Talk about cruelty and stupidness outside of that stuff. And um, there is some type of prison. This is a prison card. I'm going to read it that way because Jehovah brought the literal prison card out of the other deck. So somebody's been waiting and waiting and waiting for something to end. It's just been a temporary pause, okay, because everything has a time to it. And somebody is dealing with somebody who's been crazy and mental. And so it's something's going to be just completely broken apart. Thank you, Yehovah. Thank you, Yehovah. So there, there is something here with that. You deal with some people in backwards organization as well. This is, um, you know, waiting. I'm hanging around, hanging around, and Yehovah says just temporarily something's just going to be just like that. It's going to transform everything in such a big way, and it's going to be a victory. It, it really is going to be a victory. It's going to be a victory over the Five of Pentacles, yes. And again, we're seeing it right here um, because of the throw-out stupidness, because of the, I segregate you stupidness, because I'm a crazy kook in my head to do that to anybody, okay, because of 
things that have already went down where death situations have occurred and that's been destructive and everything else. So this is a victory over that. That's positive. Yes, and it's right here as well. So th that's 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 positive. This is here twice. This is here twice. You hope it's getting a victory uh, for you know the stupid throw out stuff. I don't even really have to go much further. There's the there is the Empress here. She also showed herself as well. She also showed herself for the next couple of days as well. We also had lies and thievery and stuff like that around this energy. Uh, for some people, there's a, there's a wounding out here. There's a suffered, but there is a legal victory that will take place. Because Jehovah's stating so. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you. So we have the upper and the lower version of the Empress. She is... She's beauty. She's in the upright. Otherwise, if this you know, this empress is the one that is in the negative that went crazy for doing some cruelty somewhere. Somebody fixing to die, or the situation is for some people. However, Jehovah chooses for the release to occur. There's a big time destruction for some people though that really is attached to the thing though. Um, the soldier. This is somebody who wears a uniform. Okay, and so, you know, obviously there will be news about some stuff here. This is, um, you know, obviously there's been a war here. The soldier card is coming out for us. This is an authority, discipline type of energy with that card. What else do you want to bring out here? The cat, the, some type of a person who has been manipulative around some situation. This is somebody who is defensive all the time. If somebody who's been a player, this can be a player card. I'm in, I'm out type of a stuff. Okay. We have a friend here. This is this is a beneficial card. Okay. If somebody's been segregated from friendship, from family, from stuff like that. There's there's a victory. This is a victory card. Okay. Well, it's here. Somebody is getting a victory, and uh, just just hold on just a little bit longer. The Jehovah says it is necessary for this thing to finally end. Okay, you have you have planted seeds, you have you have stood the test, you have stayed whole within and around this craziness, and there is going to be a victory. Okay, and something's very fortunate about this. This is you know uh, a beautiful card to get. It it really is, people. You hope you just give me some words. Thank you, you hold up. For giving people victory. Getting rid of stupid manipulative situations. We just wait on you. We trust on you. Okay, so if you work for a gas station or something went down on a travel trip at a gas station or something like that then something about a gas station connection is here in this reading I'll put that I'll have to read that last um, make no friends with an angry man remember we did have for today's date somebody's just freaking hostile that's that energy right there I'm defensive all the time because somebody's a player or somebody's friend is um, maybe you're the beneficial one or you're you're on the opposite side of that and they are and you're not or whoever I'm talking to for any given person. Somebody did make friends with some type of an angry person. We had things coming out with the whip and choking and stuff like that for the next couple of days. And so, you know, I just heard you always say they reap what they sow. So make no friends with an angry man and with a furious man that shall not go. At least you learn his ways and get a snare to your soul. There's, um, there is a singer involved in something. We have somebody in the public eye here, okay? Uh, because he has set his love upon me, I will deliver him and I will set him on high because he knows my name and he shall call upon me and I will answer him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? So he's going to show his salvation, people. If, if you're standing here and you've not been manipulative, and you've made things right, it, it, then, you know, Jehovah will turn something around just like that for you and I. And uh, the angry people that are defensive all the time, he's, he's going to deliver 
out of this nastiness. We are seeing a great big victory here today. Victory, victory, victory. We see this Empress energy represents for us being set up on high because she represents somebody who's got all four queens within her. Loving, caring, kind, setting my love up on the great one. He's going he's gonna to be able to uh, deliver today for somebody or or there's just a temporary pause today. But boy, when it hits, somebody not going to see something coming in a very big way. There's been fraud issues around some stuff. And uh, something happened around some ordeal for some of you all. And a child seen something that, that, that happened. Okay? There's something about a new job here. And we have, we have boss figures that could be found here as well. Um, upright legal leaders... I have to believe that they're out there because the word of Elohim states that he will make his leaders uh, to be upright. And so those of you who are out there and for whatever reason for some of us, why you've been quiet, why you just sit there, I I'm not sure why, but Jehovah's stating that there is some type of upright legal leaders. Thank you, Jehovah, and thank you for your service. Um, some type of a strong root system, a strong tree. Jehovah says he makes us trees of righteousness and um, the axe is at the root to the wicked. Okay, so, and we have, we have a big, big tree. So something about a big tree here that's been planted with good seeds. It's just been a temporary pause and something that's been going on that's been so crazy around some stupidness. Um, he's going to uproot the wicked and he's going to flourish the upright and give some type of a victory. Yes, there has been thief, thievery and stuff like that. Yes, we do know that to be the case because the thief card came out for today. Okay, so it still is coming out in wording. Somebody did carry off some stuff and cause some stupid destruction. So, you know, there have been some things around inheritances already that's just been, oh my God, just ridiculous. And people being offensive around that stuff because they did thieve it. Okay, that says to carry something. And the Empress also is the pictograph of the leg to represent to carry off. Somebody did carry something off from a mother figure uh, around some death situation that has been destructive, then that's here, okay? Uh, you are widely known in a good way and very well respected, and that's positive. And we also have players out there that are not, um, that are not, uh, you know, who they say they are. They're manipulator, and uh, the, it's going to be known who these people are. Uh, we have a fake preacher also involved in some situation. The tower in the Greek can take us back to that kind of energy as well. Okay, evangelists and preachers and things like that. Um, put on, therefore, as the elect of Jehovah, holy and beloved compassion, kindness, humbleness. That's the empress. That's that energy there. To take that on and be um, have a meek meekness about you and lo long suffering some people have been hanging here for a long time waiting okay it's been very stressful at times but to keep our mind upon uh Yehovah. and um he's telling people to be forgiving some people won't because they've sold their soul out because we've got the occult here as well we got we got sacrificing the stupidness right here but he tells those who still have their soul to be forgiving and to forgive one another. And if anybody has a quarrel against anyone, just like the Messiah forgave us, we're supposed to forgive. Okay, so if you still have your soul, people, then you will do that. Otherwise, there's somebody going to be removed in a very big way here. I need some more coffee. Thanks for being patient with me today. We have the letter B coming out here. This is about being feminine with this rune um, which is the Empress energy this is fertility it's right here with the Empress has that meaning as well it also represents projects the Empress also represents projects this is joy when it comes out because so, somebody's getting a victory here okay this has also been somebody's nutrition and things like that we have some people that have been segregated and we take your money we don't care we take your no well Jehovah cares and he says I'm gonna deliver out of the hand of the oppressor and um, he's gonna make everything right here throwing people out thinking that they did it uh, we doing it in your name God and Christ said that they would throw you out thinking that they were doing him service and it's been a disgrace and uh, so we, we got joy though that is coming out with this rune 
This is the B. We have the um, G. We also have the pictograph that looks like an L. We have the A. The M is out here as well in this reading. Till next time, folks. Shalom.